Hello, this is David Charney with uh, eLearning Locker. Wanted to quickly show you uh, one of Storyline 2's new features, which is uh, a, a, a slide. Hello, this is David Charney with eLearning Locker. Wanted to quickly show you guys a, uh, a new feature of Storyline 2, which is a slider. Uh, you can add sliders by clicking Insert, going to Controls, and you'll see a number of sliders. Uh, sliders are great because they can uh, uh, create quick interactions uh, that... Um, This is David Charney with eLearning Locker. Wanted to quickly show uh, one of Storyline 2's new features, the slider. Uh, sliders can be uh, added by clicking on Insert, Controls, and then there's a number of sliders that you can choose from. I'm going to run this project real quick to show how uh, a slider can create uh, a nice interaction point within a learning module. So let's say uh, the learner is going through a whole bunch of uh, content. You might have these periodic points to let them kind of test themselves, feel comfortable uh, with the material, and then uh, lead them in either continue forward or, or let them uh, go back and uh, review the information. So uh, how do you feel about this material? I'm going to go more. Uh, nice job. Since you feel comfortable, please move ahead. Uh, let's say I were to choose less. Uh, working with new material can uh, make you feel uncomfortable, it could be confusing. Why don't you go back and review the content. So how would we build this? Uh, within uh, Storyline 2, I'm going to again click on Controls, I'm going to add, uh, I believe we used this last slider for this example. Uh, you can configure that under um, Design and Format. Uh, so with Design, what we want to do is um, we want to have, in this case, three different uh, points. We want to stay centered. We want to drag it one point forward or one point back. So to look at this menu, first we've got a variable which is created when you drag the slider out. Uh, in this case, the variable is automatically created called slider1. Um, when uh, For our update, we want it to update when uh, the actual object is dragged. Um, you can set that to released. Um, we want, again, three sections. One, two, three. So we want it to start at one, end at three. Initially, we want it to be at two, which is one, two. Um, we can change that here. We can go to one, we can go to three, uh, but we want to start at two. And you can actually drag that to place it wherever you want. And we want the steps to be every one item. So every one item, every one item. If you set that to two, it'll skip. Um, so we've got three places. This variable, slider one, will be one, two, and three. So what that allows us to do is create two layers, a comfortable layer, nice job, and a uh, not comfortable layer. Uh, a little bit of uh, information to let them know that, you know, it can be uh, difficult, some of this information, and we recommend going back and reviewing the material. So back to my base layer, we want to have two triggers. Uh, the trigger is going to show the layer comfortable uh, when the variable, which is slider1, uh, which is the uh, sliders uh, variable, equals uh, three. So when it gets to three, so again, when it gets to three here, which is the, the more comfortable with the material, it's going to show the comfortable uh, um, layer. When you click on, let me go back out. So when you click show layer on non-comfortable, you want that to set, you want that to equal one because one is the uh, less uh, comfortable variable. And that's pretty much it. You can really control this all you want. You can put a whole bunch of segments in here and have all sorts of layers um, pop stuff up. You can have this filled with custom uh, 
uh, text may be based on uh, a, a variable. Uh, there's a lot of ways to control this. Um, but that's, uh, that's a quick way to add an interaction uh, comfort point along the way of a learning module. So again, my name is David Charney with eLearning Locker, and check eLearning Locker out for uh, more tutorials, um, templates, graphics, and all things eLearning.